Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing my best pressed setting powders that I have in my collection that you need. These are going to be full coverage. They're going to be medium to buildable coverage. And they're also going to be translucent powders that are great to set your concealer with that does not give flashback. So let's get into it. I personally know some people that don't even like to wear setting powders because they feel like the setting powder dries out their skin or they already have dry skin and they kind of steer away from the setting powders. My biggest tip to you guys, especially if you have dry skin, prep your skin before you put on your powder. So that can be moisturizer, that can be a hydrating primer. As long as you prep your skin really good before you put on the powder, then it shouldn't make your face feel dry. So I've actually been using a moisturizer from the brand Lather, and they are sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now, I was actually introduced to Lather back in November of last year, and I was able to try out some of their products, see which ones I like, and then share them with you guys. So this is the Sweet Almond Face Moisturizer. If you guys are not familiar with Lather, this is a natural skincare brand. So all of their products have natural ingredients, and they're actually formulated with zero synthetic fragrance. So this right here, here is the Sweet Almond Face Moisturizer. Since I've been using this, I find that I like using this more when I'm wearing makeup versus when I'm not wearing makeup. And the reason why I say that is because when I wear makeup, I wanna make sure that the, uh, the moisturizer that I'm using is not too heavy, it's not too thick, and that is exactly what this is. Now this particular moisturizer is for normal to dry skin. Now, I don't have dry skin, but I still like to wear products that are super, duper hydrating on the skin so i really really enjoy this so two of the powders that i'm going to be showing you in today's video i've actually used them with this moisturizer so i will put this on my face first and then go in with the powder only when i don't want to wear like liquid foundations um but yeah while we're on the subject of their moisturizer let me show you two more other products that are their best sellers so they have this ultra mild face wash. If you have sensitive skin, you are gonna wanna try this one out. I've used this two different ways. So the first way I've used it is to take off my makeup and that's how I like to try to, like when I try out new cleansers, I try to use them in like more than one way. So I would take a couple of pumps of this on my hand and I wouldn't even wet my hand. I would just put it all over my face and just kind of rub it in so that way the makeup can melt. And then I will go in and rinse it off. And I actually like how that worked. So if you wanna use this to take your makeup off, you can do that. Or if you just wanna use this to just wash your face, um, like on a regular, you know, just regularly wash your face, you can do that. So this also does not burn my eyes either, but definitely one of their top sellers. Another one of their top sellers before we talk about the powders is their body butter. You guys know I love me a body butter. This is so, so thick, but it's so good. It's their almond milk and honey body butter and it smells, I'm actually gonna put some on right now because my hands are a little dry, but it is so, so, I probably put too much on right here, but it's so thick. It is so thick. I like to put this on after I get out of the shower or just whenever I feel like my hands or my arms or elbows are a little ashy, I just put some on and it smells really, really good. So, so good. I'll put some on my elbows. <laughs> But yes, those are some of their top sellers that I wanted to share with you guys. And like I said, if you have dry skin and you're trying to steer away from um, wearing powder or like pressed powders, loose powders, definitely prep your skin first before you actually put on the powder. But if you guys are interested in lather, I will have a link down below so you guys can check them out. So now let's talk about these powders. Now every single one of these powders that you guys are about to see, I have already demoed and shared on my channel. And if you guys want to see them, you can just easily type in Andrea Renee and whatever the powder is and the video should pop up on the page. Let me talk about full coverage powders first, and then we'll go into the medium buildable ones, and then we'll go into the translucent. So my favorite, favorite, well, all of these are my favorites. What am I talking about? <laughs> One of my favorite full coverage powders is the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Pest Powder, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I don't even think I came back on camera to tell you guys like an update on this stuff. I remember like showing like a first impression slash review on this powder, but, I have been wearing this like 
crazy. So the first time I tried it out, you guys saw that I just used this by itself. And then after that video, I started incorporating this in my everyday routine. So I will put on a liquid foundation and then I would set my liquid foundation with this powder. And when I tell y'all this, First off, if you want to use this with a full coverage liquid foundation, be prepared to get more coverage on your face when you're putting this on because this gives great coverage. Now the way that I've been using this powder with other liquids is using it with a liquid foundation or a CC cream that is not full coverage. So I actually been trying this out with the e.l.f. the new e.l.f. CC cream and I did a whole review on the CC cream already if you guys want to see that video. but. This pairs so, so good with that. But that CC cream is already full coverage. But I find that when I put on a very small amount of it and then go on top of that with this, girl, skin, beautiful. Another foundation that I like wearing this with is the Pat McGrath foundation. Y'all know that one doesn't really have a ton of coverage, but you can build it up. But Put on a little light layer of Pat McGrath and then go on top of that with Fenty. Girl, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to do a video with Pat McGrath and Fenty because y'all, so, so good. So I like wearing this by itself. Just put on some moisturizer. So my lather moisturizer and then go on top of the moisturizer with a powder or putting on a foundation and then setting my foundation with this powder. So this has easily become one of my favorites. This can actually fall in the category of my um, medium buildable powders because you actually can build this up to get that full coverage, but I like how it looks with the full coverage versus the ones that I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. If I did a full coverage with those, I don't really like how it would look. But this, if you want that full coverage, it looks so so good. So my next favorite full coverage setting powder is the Too Faced Born This Way. And I am in the shade Chai in this powder. Let me show you the inside. Ooh, it's kind of messy, but here is how she looks. Another powder that I like to wear by itself. So put on some moisturizer, your little SPF, and then go on top of that with the powder. Or if I want to put this on top of a foundation, I like to wear this on um, a foundation that is medium um, buildable coverage foundation. So Pat McGrath, um, Shiseido, that one's really, really pretty with this foundation. And the, uh, what's the other one? Dang, what's that other one? And the Giorgio Armani one, the one that comes in the pink squeeze tube. What I'm going to do is have the foundations that I mentioned with the powder, um, beside the powder down below in the description, just kind of show you, well, tell you guys which foundations I like paired with the, um, powders that I use. So Definitely a good one. Okay, this next one is my favorite, favorite, favorite one, y'all. It's my favorite. I actually like it better than Fenty. <laughs> That's just how much I love this powder. It's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. If you have not tried this out, get it. Get it now. Put it in your cart right now. I use the shade Y505, and I... I'm obsessed with the finish of this, how it looks by itself, how it looks on top of foundations. Like, girl, you cannot go wrong with this powder. It is so, so pretty. It gives you such a beautiful, soft, natural finish. It is a matte powder. I mean, all of the ones that I'm sharing are matte, but out of all three, I think this one is more matte than the Fenty and the Too Faced, but it doesn't feel dry on the face, especially when you prep your skin with a moisturizer or a, um, a hydrating primer. But yes, girl. And I actually did a full powder foundation routine with this one. I did a full powder foundation routine with the Fenty, and I believe I did it with the Too Faced one, I think. You guys will see it if you type in my name and then type in the powders. But yeah, those are the three like full coverage setting powders that I like to wear by themselves and also on top of foundations. Now we're getting into ones that are the medium coverage. These are the ones that I will not wear by themselves. They're the ones that I always wear on top of liquid foundations. So the first one I want to talk about is Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 4 Deep. This is one of her newer shades. She actually came out with a darker shade um, late last year, I believe it was like late 2020. But anyway, this is how she looks. This powder can be a little tricky. Like you can see how it looks light 
and you feel like, okay, this ain't gonna work. But when you put it on, this is something about this powder. It literally melts into the skin. It looks so pretty and it almost kind of gives me a, um, it almost, <laughs> it almost kind of gives me a bronzed glow, but it's not a bronzer. I remember trying this in a testing new product video last year. And when I was putting it on, like you could see in that video, it almost looks like I was putting on a bronzer, but it wasn't as warm or as dark as a bronzer. It just gave me the perfect, perfect, pretty natural finish. It just looks so, so pretty on top of a liquid foundation. So I'm glad that she came out with a deeper shade. The other one that she had was uh, dark, but it wasn't dark enough for me to put all over the face. I would just use that to kind of um, brighten up my under eyes. But this one, this one is really, really pretty. I like this one. This next one is an OG. And if y'all have been rocking with me for a while, y'all know which one this one is. Sephora Micro Smooth Girl. Girl, if you don't have the Sephora Micro Smooth, get it. At one point, they were saying that this was gonna be like, discontinued, but I see that they're still selling it. But um, I'm in the shade deep number 60. This is almost just like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I have right here. So let me show you my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Now I use the shade Dark Deepest. Yeah, Dark Deepest in MAC. And here is the Sephora Micro Smooth. These are almost the same almost the same. I feel like the Sephora Micro Smooth has a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more coverage than the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Honestly, to be completely honest, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you really, really, really want to compare, like really want to compare, um, I feel like Sephora has a tiny bit more coverage, but they're not full coverage powders. These are the powders that you brush all over the face after you put on your liquid, or even if you don't wanna put on your liquid foundation, if you just wanna wear these by themselves, you will get, like you can see it on your skin, but it's not gonna be full coverage like the ones that I just talked about. They're pretty much like finishing powders. Even if you wanna put these on, if you, so, like say if you're wearing a foundation that's not really giving you the coverage that you want, but you want a little bit more coverage, but you don't wanna go full blown, full coverage, these. Put these on and it'll give you just enough coverage and it's just gonna make everything look really pretty and airbrushed and smooth. So yeah, I just wanted to mention these two together because they are really, really similar. I like MAC, I like Sephora, both of these, I love them. This next one is my Holy Grail Drugstore setting powder, you guys. Rimmel London Stay Matte. I don't even know how many times I have used this on my channel. I feel like I'm always reaching for this every time, especially every time I do drugstore looks. I'm always reaching for this to set my foundation. I'm always reaching for the other one, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But if you are wanting a matte pressed powder from the drugstore that's not gonna give you full on coverage, that's just gonna be pretty much perfect to set your foundation get this. This is in the shade Toffee and I will say it's kind of hard to find this particular shade. I got this out of Target, a, like it's been a while, but I have seen this at Walmart. I've seen it online at Walmart and it's also, I want to say it's still available um, online at Target. I'll have to double check, but this color in particular is Toffee. They have another color that's really close to this, which is in the shade Pecan. I did have that one, but honestly, I couldn't really tell a difference between the two. Um, pecan is a color that I see often, but if you guys can't see, so if you can't come across Toffee, try Pecan if you are my um, foundation twin, but yes. The perfect, perfect, perfect setting powder if you're wanting something matte, but it's not too matte, and it's gonna give you such a pretty finish. Rimmel London, stay matte. Let me just pull out the Charlotte Tilbury powder once again because y'all, there is a drugstore dupe to Charlotte Tilbury that is almost spot on, which is the Elf Cosmetics Sheer Tint Setting Powder, y'all. I did a drugstore versus high-end video. So I did one side with high-end products and then the other side with drugstore products. And I used both of these 
in that video. If you don't wanna spend so much on Charlotte Tilbury, try this one from Elf Cosmetics. This is Dark Deep, and they have another shade that's actually darker than this shade. So this is how it looks, and then let me show you what Charlotte looks like right beside it. All right, so we have Elf right here, and then this is Charlotte Tilbury, y'all dupes i will say elf is a tiny bit darker like a tiny bit darker than the charlotte tilbury once i put it on my face but the way they go on the skin the way they look on the skin it looks really really similar so yeah get you this if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg for the um charlotte tilbury but charlotte tilbury is definitely definitely worth it in my opinion, so. <laughs> All right, so we're done with the full coverage. We're done with the medium coverage. Now let's talk about my favorite pressed translucent powders. Y'all, I like pressed translucent powders more than I do the loose translucent powders. At one point, I was more into loose because I feel like that was like all the rave back in the day, but now I'm starting to trickle over to only wanting to use pressed powders because, well, pressed translucent powders because they are not as messy as loose powders. Another thing, I don't like to use loose powders that are like, you know, the color of my press. Like if I wanna use a loose powder all over the face to set my foundation, I don't like to do that because they're so messy. So that's why I always like to get my press ones, just swirl my brush around in it. Anyway. Pressed translucent powders, I feel like, are just so easy for me. Like, they're so easy to work with. I just take a brush and then set my concealer. So the first one I want to talk about is Drugstore, and it is Rimmel London Stay Matte. Y'all, this has been going, like, this has gone through it. All of the ones I'm sharing have actually already hit pan. This stuff, oh my gosh. If y'all, I have a, um, a more expensive one that is very similar to this that I'm going to show, but y'all... If you don't like loose powders, if you're wanting something that does not give you flashback, that's gonna set your concealer and make it look so soft and airbrush, but it's super duper cheap, affordable, Rimmel London Stay Matte. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, this is in the shade Transparent. Um, I think they actually have a shade called Translucent, which I don't have, but for me, this, I mean, it's pretty translucent to me, so yes. Love, 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 love this stuff, you guys. I mean, obviously, you can see how much I love it. So if you are not wanting to spend so much money on a pressed translucent powder, try Rimmel London. Try it. Just try it. Let me know how you feel about it by coming back to the video and leaving the comment down below. And then I have the Laura Mercier Pressed Translucent. If you like the loose translucent from Laura Mercier, but you want a pressed version of it, Girl, this is it. I feel like this is it right here. Like you don't get the mess like you do with the loose powder. This is it. You need it, put it in your cart. It doesn't give you flashback. It's not ashy. It sets beautifully on the skin and you need it. Last but not least is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. Y'all, I've hit pan on all of my translucent powders. Well, the pressed ones that I use and this is the powder this is the one that i tried last year it was the beginning of last year i remember this towards the beginning of last year i did a full face testing new products y'all have to see that video you like i'm gonna try to find the video and have it down in the description link for you guys but i fell in love as soon as i use this <laughs> and you guys will see it in the video but y'all this gives you the most beautiful face tuned airbrushed look it is so so pretty it sets the concealer beautifully and it does not give you flash i mean every i, I gotta stop saying it doesn't give you flashback because everything i'm talking about does not give you flashback but i love it y'all i love 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 this setting powder so much i have a new one in my closet right now that is ready to be used but i'm gonna try to finish this up i'm gonna try to finish this one i'm actually gonna try to finish all three of these this year like i need to stop playing like 
for real. I need to just go ahead and finish these up so that way I can toss them, get rid of them because I have been holding on to these because they're just, they're my babies. I love them. I love. But yes, girl, those are all of my favorite pressed powders that I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you guys found some new ones while watching this video. I will have every single one of these linked down below for you guys if you wanna check them out. And like I said earlier, if you are not wanting to wear pressed powders or powders in general because you feel like it dries your skin out or you feel like you're just too dry for powders, prep your skin, put on your moisturizer. I will have the link of Lather down below if you guys wanted to check the brand out, like I said earlier, but yes. That is all that I have for today's video. Thank you so much to Lather for partnering with me once again. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.